they're going to throw it to the end zone. And it is a miracle touchdown for Bryant. Looks like it lands on the line. It looked like it was going to be close the entire way as to whether or not he was in bounds. The hand hits on the back line before any other part of his body touches down. After reviewing the play, the receiver's hand touched out of bounds. Prior to him gaining possession of the ball, the pass is incomplete. Night. Ground ball, right side, Cabrera will cut it off, Galarraga covers, he's out, no, oh, he's safe, he is safe, he is safe at first base, and here comes Jim Leland, oh my, he must have missed the base, are you kidding me, why is he safe, you see right here, Why is he safe? Oh, oh my God. goodness, Jim Joyce. No. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, my goodness. What a travesty. What an absolute travesty for Armando Galarraga. His father, Paul. It's this. Not going to try. It's Hayward pulling it down. Getting around, Zubat at midcourt, launches the shot. Oh, and almost went in. Almost went in, and Duke is the king of the dance. Try to line up. Two seconds, one second, they get the snap off. Desperation time for Pittsburgh. A throw to the outside, Sanders. Play the lateral game here for Pittsburgh. Backward pass. Roethlisberger now running. Shovels out for Brown. Brown's got room. Brown down the sideline. Miami trying to bring him down. Antonio Brown. Incredible. He's out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Ian. Antonio Brown. A last-ditch effort by the Steelers. Brown on the sideline. Right there. Great call by the officials, Ian. Left foot clearly out of bounds. Fourth down and two. Here's one down the sideline. Pass caught by Des Bryant. They're going to mark him inside the one. And a brilliant catch by number 88. The play, I haven't seen anybody go up and make plays on balls in the air the way that Des Bryant has. Wow. Field of a completed catch. Timeout. It'll be the biggest call of the game. It came on fourth and two. Is it first and goal from inside the one, or is it Green Bay's ball? We'll get the call when we come back. After review, it has been determined that the receiver did not maintain possession of the football during the process of the pass. The ball comes loose, hits the ground, therefore the ruling is an incomplete forward pass. That was Dallas' fourth down. They will lose the ball on a change of possession on the downs. It will be Green Bay's ball. One for three in this game. Lifts the fly ball out towards deep right center field. Betts going back onto the track to make the catch. And then goes into the bullpen. And one acrobatic leap up over. Did he drop the baseball in the process? Each other. What an effort by Mookie Betts. The catch right there. He's got control of the baseball. Then goes over the wall. And the ball comes out. The ball comes out there. Now the question is, in my mind, does he have control of the baseball long enough? Well, we're going to, finally going to get out a call. Home run. A two-run home run for Abreu. Davis at the buzzer. No, yes, no, 
It's waved off. Bernie Fryer says no, it will not count. He was waving immediately. Oh, it was so my close. My goodness. Bernie Fryer says no. Now, he gets it off. He gets it off according to the clock there. The key, the officials on this play go by the buzzer. That, that shot was off in plenty of time. I mean, there's time on the clock. There's no question about that from that standpoint. The replay shows it. Fryer right away waved it off. As the ball was in the air, he was waving it off. Now, that's listen. Listen for the... Jay, grounds one. Pedroia makes the play. Throw home. Two out. Over the third. It gets away. Alan Craig is going to come to the plate. Here's the throw. See Jim Joyce saying obstruction. Going to third, so the first man is out. The throw is wide, and now Middlebrooks can't get out of the way. Obstruction is called. Craig, who can't run, go to double over team. Miss the Blue Devils win it from 38. On the way. And it is no good. And the drought is over for Duke. a ball game for the first time since 1961 if if it stands up let's have a look at it guys and see what you think that kick was above the upright not reviewable the officials have left the field and, and indiana comes up three points short and is daniel mccutcheon and a ground ball to third breaking for the plate the throw and they got him no he called him safe he called him safe. Unbelievable. Jerry Meals called him safe. The throw beat him by a mile. That him. is incredible. How can you end? He called him safe. How can you end You've the game? You've got to be kidding me, Jerry Meals. That is remarkable. That is unbelievable. The throw beat him by a mile. And he's saying that... To the end zone. Caught! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Jesse James! Two plays, they take it the distance. That's exactly right. I mean, he's got. Is that Does possession? he maintain control right here? He's got to maintain possession. Does that bobble in his. Oh. Guys, that's. Did he have control? We've had this discussion almost every week about how this sensibility could, comes in. Is it a catch? Does it look like a catch? This one's tough. I mean, this could go either way. That ball moves in his hand. Who knows? After Here. reviewing the play, the receiver in the end zone did not survive the ground. It's oh. an incomplete oh, pass. Oh, my goodness. It'll be Pittsburgh's ball. Believe second it. down and 10 at the 10-yard line. At this tip away, six seconds remaining. Here's Richards to the line. Four seconds. Richards holding, holding his shot. Scott! And the horn sounds. I think it'll count. They'll check it. But the Flyers, in the nick of time, take a 5-4 victory over the Sharks. Incredible end here at the Wells Fargo Center. Jones is. Did it beat the clock? I believe that it did. We'll get a good look at it here. 1.4 right there. Let's run it. The puck is heading towards the net. Oh. Whoa, we got a close one here. <laughs> Here's the call. The Review of the goal. Time and expired before the puck completely crossed the goal line. No goal. All right. We go to his. Nick's out of timeouts. They've got to do it here. Anthony guarded by Marvin Williams. It's going to be for Zingas. Oh, my. Are you kidding me? Did he get it off before the zeros? 
Oh, that's close. He busted the play, though. He was supposed to go down and screen Carmelo Anthony. He saw Zeller reading the play, and he just broke it off. Peel back at the basketball. That is close. He may be cursed by long fingers. Oh. No good! It's waved off! A miracle in uptown! It's no good! Porzingis! Edling's got to throw it into the end zone. Caught, but... Touchdown! You got to be kidding me! The Tigers roar! Real late! Ball game! Three plays say about the clock. Clock's at zero. Has the ball been snapped? He's under center. Can't tell. Can they? Well, you can't reverse tell. that. Can they change that though? Well, it's it's reviewable for the replay booth to look at those things but you can't see the snap you don't know when the ball comes up you know when the quarterback steps back and now Auburn appears to be celebrating what we do the rule is that the offense did not get the snap off Stafford's throw catch made touchdown Lions it's Golden Tate and they lead for the first time today Reviewing the play, the ruling on the field has changed. The runner was, was touched down at the half a yard line. He was short of the goal line. By rule, we would go back to a running clock and we have a 10 second runoff. So by rule, the game is over. You can't end the game that way. I mean, that's just an unusual. The Raptors, don't worry about them going to the basket. Can't beat you with the two. Ross. Ross. Oh, my goodness gracious, and we're going to overtime. The ball on the inbounds, and the... Yeah, he did. He did deflect the ball on the inbounds. They're going to go back and look at this. This may not count. Cousins deflected the ball. It clearly was... I think this is the game's over. Yep, game over, no basket. And Dwayne Casey is furious, but I don't think he has a leg to stand on here, Jerry. The ball was clearly deflected. Two plays later, Hill looking for Calvin Johnson again. It appears to be a game-winning touchdown catch for Calvin Johnson. The ball comes loose, as you can see it. When Calvin goes down, it is ruled an incomplete pass on the field. The play, of course, would be reviewed. As we see it again, Johnson goes up for the grab, comes down with the ball. He's got his butt on the turf, his knee touches, but he has to have possession of the ball as he hits the ground. He loses control. Replay officials confirm the call on the field. Jim Schwartz arguing this Johnson, but not the big one. Bears go on for the win, 19-14, 372 yards for Jay Cutler. In Mike Messina, this is the closest he's ever come. One out away from a perfect game. That one is in the left center base hit. He tried it yet again, and this time Everett put it in play. The first hit of the night, the first base runner. Messina was just one strike away from a perfect game. And Everett departs, lifted for a pinch runner. Dyson comes in motion, now resettles. McNair drops, throws right side for Dyson. He dives for the end zone. He didn't make it. He came up one yard short. The Rams win by a yard. Moving fast, Westbrook as the clock ticks, gives it to Durant. Durant, no, put back, no. Adams, it goes. Count it. City has won it! Wow. Mm. The light flickers. I'll tell you, this is going to be tough. Yes. Call on the floor is good. And this is going to be one of those reviews. 
That is either a win or a loss. They wave it off, and the Dallas Mavericks have... They're late getting backed up here. Three-man rush. Reeves has time. Going to throw it towards the end zone, towards Jimmy Graham. He's got it! Touchdown! Flags are down. Did he push off? He did. That's an occurrence. Number 80 on the offense. It's a good call, John. I mean, he's... Rule. Regulation is over. <laughs> Quits. I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> Three receivers to the right side, one to the left. Bowler steps up as hard as he can throw it. It's going to be shy of the goal line, but on the deflection, it is... He caught it! But shy of the end zone, oh, oh, and the oh, game ends! Oh, oh, oh. Caught by Mark Clay. He caught it! Down at the two, no flags, no time, and by a hair, the New England perfect season remains alive. I would consider not even defending the ball right now, having Glenn Davis play center field. Four tenths of a second, down by two. Stoudemire for the win. Will it count? Will it count? Because he wasn't facing the basket. I mean, that's just not even close. Yeah, you're right. Two outs away from the no-hitter. To short center. And Sweeney spoils it. Never liked him anyway. In his first at bat in months, he breaks up the no hitter. After a time, you, you got Austin wide to the left, Williams in the slot to the left, Romo under pressure. They nearly got him. Hits Williams, but there's a flag down at the 20-yard line. There's a marker down at the 20, which Williams doesn't know about, and it's going to be a hold against Dallas. As this is a foul against the offense, the game is over. I think he said 71. I'm not sure. He did. Alex Barron tackled him. He wrapped both arms around the defender. And, I mean, and, and then put his arm around his neck. Right out here. Look at that. Both arms go outside, Arakpo. And now a wrap around the neck. Played by Ariza. Curry. For three. Livingston on the backdrop. Played by Curry. Gets to the rack. He fires. He scores! It will count! He'll check it out. It appeared that he got it off on time for the opening night win for the defending champs. The season has officially started. Looks like he got it off clear. Let's look at it again. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, Mark. I think we're going to have to call some people back out on this floor. Double zero, his hand is touching the ball. From that last, oh, oh, hey, come back out. Gordon, it's not over. Here comes Lord to the basketball. Being guarded this time by Alonzo G. Switched the palm now by Pargo. Off balance three, no! We've got, no! The no. shot goes, is it gonna count? Oh, no. On the offensive board! Yeah. On the offensive board. But Toom hit it. Now will it count? That is the question. Oh, no. It's Flacco on the move, throwing down field to Steve Smith Sr. And he's got it! Smith Sr. Penalty marker is down to the five. Touchdown. Now let's check the flag. That should be defensive pass. Oh, they're going to call offensive pass. They are passing. calling offense against the Ravens. That's interference. Offense. That's pretty clear. He does get a push here. Watch his left arm extend. It's thrown. 
which it will. Yeah, it does. Here's Carr. Quick pass to the end zone, and it's caught. And a flag is down. A flag is down. Crabtree caught it. Did he push off? Are they going to pick up the flag, or are they going to keep it? Ooh. They're discussing whether to pick up the flag or not. Pass interference. Offense. Oh. For 15. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. I think we see that all the time. One Hail Mary. There's one second on the clock. Atlanta has five men deep, including Brian Finneran. Maddox lets it fly. All the way down field. And it was caught. It's caught on the one. There's no time. The game's over. Oh, my gosh. Mexico Burris caught it. To Burris. His body was in the end zone, Sam. The ball wasn't. Oh. Where they thought the ball was going to come down. The ball came down in front of the end zone. It was a completion, but that's the way you play that defense. They're oh. right over top of them, and the ball never crosses never. the goal line. And the pitch. Swinging a line drive to right. Pence is going to dive, and it falls in front of Pence for a base hit. And Petit comes oh so close to a perfect game, like maybe a foot. Gun. Here's Charlie Fry. Steps up in the pocket. Let's it go. It is. Oh wow! He almost did it, and that's your ball game. Edwards just couldn't haul it in. Ninth inning. He really has not been close to walking anybody. Three balls, one strike. And that is ball four. This is the first time all night that Lopez has pitched from the stretch. Now Grossman gets a base hit into center field. Lopez almost caught it, reaching his glove up, but a little too late. And fans are cheering both the hit and the remarkable night for Jorge Lopez. And this is really a nice gesture by his teammates to come out. And Votto lifts it in the air, center field. Gomez at the wall. Gomez leaps, and he makes the catch! A game saver! Carlos Gomez! Unbelievable catch! And the Brewers win!